Good morning, guys. You're welcome to the MBBS Niger YouTube channel. Uh, welcome to uh, this new video that we are making on Anosmia. Uh, we we'll get to see what is Anosmia. We we'll get to see the causes of anosmia. I will get to see the prevention of anosmia and the treatment of anosmia in case a patient has it. Right. So, talking about anosmia in 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 details now. Right. So, what is anosmia? Anosmia is a loss of the ability to smell. All right. You could lose this temporarily or permanently. Okay. Uh, it is also obstruction of the airflow. Uh, it prevents air from reaching the olfactory region. This is the region that is controlled by the olfactory nerve that we spoke about earlier. If you want to see our video on the olfactory nerve, you could just go through our YouTube channel and get yourself some knowledge. All right. So, uh, what are the common causes of anosmia? All right. Uh, the common causes of anosmia, normal aging, right? As you age, uh, your olfactory nerve could become weak, right? And this could cause anosmia. You could, uh, you could lose a sense of smelling things, right? You could not actually sense things the way you used to when you were young, right? So common cold. You know, a uh, common cold actually results to kata. And you know, most of us here have experienced kata where your nose is blocked and you can't really smell the way you usually used to. Okay. Um, hay fever. Uh, hay fever is due to allergy. And influenza can actually cause anosmia too. And non-allergic rhinitis, all right, it is similar to HP fever without an allergy as a cause, okay? So what are the other causes of anosmia? Uh, obstruction of nasal pathways, all right, could actually cause anosmia. Uh, this obstruction of nasal pathways can be a, a result of uh, bony deformities in the nose, nasal polyps, right? And tumors in the nose, all right? Um, damage to brain, damage to olfactory pathways, all right? So, still moving ahead. Uh, top down perspective on anosmia. Let's just go through. You know that anosmia is actually a loss of smell, whether it is temporarily or permanently. Uh, it is caused by a defect in the olfactory uh, passage. All right, or damage to the brain, all right? And this can be caused by, it is caused from disease or external events that injure the brain, okay? Disease or external event. We got to see that it could be from bony deformities in the nose or actually nasal polyps and, and, and maybe tumors in the nose, all right? So I'll be moving. So a uh, bottom-up uh, perspective of the anosmia, you can see that an individual will actually get to know that something smells or tastes like this, right? Because previously, uh, your nose was functioning normally, all right? So it, you get to be surprised that, okay, the same thing does not taste the same or they cannot smell the same, all right? Okay, why they are talking about taste and smell is... Uh, mostly when your, your sense of smell is affected, uh, your sense of taste also gets affected too. Okay, so you get to see that uh, the individual believes that they have lost the sense of smell and sees a doctor, all right? And the doctor will actually test the individual for problems with olfactory system. And the individual is diagnosed with anosmia with one of the many possible causes, all right? And anos anosmia can be temporarily or permanently, all right? So a summary you could get to know that, okay, uh, you get to know that, okay, this my perfume is smelling like this. And when you spray it, you don't, not really perfume. Let's talk about food, <clears throat> right? You know that rice stew smells like this, 
Are you guys to see that you ain't saying things to you again and so on and so forth? You understand? So this is like uh, the bottom up perspective of anosmia, right? And I hope we are following up so far on this lecture. If you are watching this video and it makes sense to you, kindly do pause and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, like our video and comment um, your location on our video so that we get to connect, all right? So what is the treatment for anosmia? Uh, okay. Uh, it, it's loss of smell, all right, from colds or allergy or sinus infection. Uh, if it is from cold, you just have to relax. It will resolve itself in a few days, right? Uh, what about bacteria infections, all right? Uh, bacteria infection causing anosmia, you could actually take in antibiotics, right? Uh, what about the obstruction of the nasal pathways? Uh, you could remove it by a surgery. Okay. Um, what about uh, anosmia from old age? All right. Uh, if over 60, it is likely anosmia is permanent and can't be treated if the patient is above 60 years. How are we moving through? Uh, let's talk about anosmia and taste. Uh, smell and taste are interrelated. Right? So mostly problems with smell will also affect your taste. Okay? Some things won't taste the same when you have anosmia. And some things won't be able to taste at all when you are down with anosmia. Okay? Uh, so what are the physiological effects of anosmia? When you have anosmia, what is uh, the, uh, okay, sorry, the psychological. It has um, effect on your psychology. You, you won't really be happy, okay? You won't really have the, those vibes you have when you eat your chicken. You know, your, when your, your chicken tastes so sweet. And right now, your chicken can't really taste so sweet. You won't really have those vibes and so on. All right, so sadness, uh, the inability to obtain pleasure from eating things that you enjoy, right? Uh, you also have a lack of interest to eat. Okay, since my chicken is ain't really tasting sweet, why should I go ahead eating chicken, All right? Uh, you actually feel isolated from those who can taste or smell normally. Uh, emotional blunt in two. Uh, you express uh, less emotions overall, verbally, and physically through your facial expressions. You won't really like those vibes. You won't really like the way things are turning out and so on and so forth. You feel me? So, uh, those are the, uh, with this, we have come to the end of our lecture on anosmia. We got to see that anosmia is... Is the inability to, to, to smell things uh, permanently or temporarily. We got to see that it could result from colds, that's your nasal blockage. We got to see that it could result from uh, bone uh, deformities in your nose. We got to see that it could result from nasal polyps or nasal tumors, all right? Uh, we got to see uh, how the, the anosmia can be prevented okay uh so with this we have come to the end of our youtube video all right and lastly we got to see that um the loss of sense of smell is related to uh, the loss of taste okay um with this we have come to the end of our youtube tutorial on anosmia kindly do stick to our youtube channel as we have over 30 videos coming in uh, from this series of of the cranium right we'll talk about the cranial nerves and we'll talk about their various clinical correlations one after the other so guys with this we have come to the end of our youtube uh, tutorial on this like our video subscribe to our channel do comment on our videos too see you guys in the next tutorial bye for now